For children whose families struggle to make ends meet, getting a high quality education can be a challenge. Parents who work more than one job, for example, often rely on others to help their children with their schoolwork. Tonight in our continuing series, Overcoming Poverty in Alabama, why educators say it's not just schools, but entire communities who are needed to help students succeed. The Kershaw YMCA is a prime example of a community partner working to enrich local education. 27 times 2. The Wise Power Scholars Program consists of certified teachers offering academic instruction in the morning and recreation in the afternoon. The children also can stay late if they need to, something grandmother Toya Tate says is invaluable for working parents. You know, some, people, some parents can't get out of work, and they don't have to worry about nobody else trying to pick them up. Greater than or less than. To top it off, the program, which feasibly could cost a family as much as $125 a week, is free thanks to grants and donations. This is a program that's no cost to the parents for the children to come here. It's very important for us to branch out to those community agencies that can come in and invest in our children. Assistant State School Superintendent Autumn Jeter says while all public schools receive government funding, in high poverty areas, community partners are also crucial to enhance the learning process. One example for me, my students were able to go visit a local aqu aquarium and that was totally funded by partners. Again, otherwise we would have had to charge the families to attend that field trip. Other examples include churches that pick up students and provide them with after school tutoring sessions individuals who volunteer to serve as student mentors, even healthcare professionals who offer their services free of charge to ensure something as simple as a toothache doesn't stop a child from paying attention in class. Look at those pretty teeth. Jeter says anyone in a community can offer to volunteer. So it would be great if those community partners would reach out to the local school district to say, hey, we're here. See you. The YMCA's Eleanor Davis admits it can be time-consuming work, but it's work that can pay dividends for a community's future. And she says the reaction she gets from the students makes it all worthwhile. Kids love it. Uh, actually, the parents come in, what are you doing to our children? They don't want to go home. They love coming here. Now, another important aspect to ensuring student success is getting an early start, even before kindergarten. The state of Alabama has been increasing access to its award-winning pre-K program for years and will add 69 more classrooms across 30 counties this fall. You'll find more information inside this story at WSFA.com.